Hey there, my name is Adam Lidolce and I'm the founder of SexyConfidence.com where I teach the 21st century woman how to create a love life that she absolutely loves. And today, I'm going to be revealing exactly why men suddenly disappear and vanish into thin air and what it is that you can do about it moving forward. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever started seeing a guy and it's going really well, you're starting to like him, you have great vibes with one another, and suddenly a guy just vanishes into thin air? It's as if he died or turned into a ghost. <laughs> and unlike the 1990 hit movie Ghost with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore, he doesn't come back and make clay pots with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the dude is gone and he's not coming back and you are sitting there wondering what the heck happened? Well, here are six reasons why men disappear so suddenly. First off, men are total cowards and we avoid confrontation like the plague. Think of it this way, it is a lot easier to start something with someone than it is to end something with someone. So more guys, unfortunately, are just going to end up disappearing than going ahead and taking the courageous way out, and that is ending it with you like a gentleman. Number two is he's a player, but he doesn't want to hurt your feelings. If a guy's in a phase in his life where he wants to date or maybe sleep around, Sometimes a guy like that will meet a girl and just be afraid of hurting her feelings because he can really sense that maybe you like him more than just a casual situation. So what he does is he just pieces out so he doesn't hurt your feelings. And if this is the case and he disappeared, well I gotta tell you, it's probably for the better and that is of course assuming that you're looking for something a little bit more serious than just a casual. Number three is that he likes you but he doesn't love you. Maybe he likes you a lot but he realizes that there's just no real future potential between the two of you. And that really actually leads me to my fourth point and that is that maybe we haven't just been dating long enough to even warrant a breakup. If you've only been going out for a guy for only maybe one, two, or even three dates, I mean don't expect him to go ahead and end it with you. Listen, it's not you, it's it's me. We, we really need to break up. Wait, are you the Adam from Tinder or the Adam from OkCupid? Listen, even if you slept with him, I mean, don't expect that he's going to have the guts to just straight up break it off with you, or even that it's socially acceptable or socially normal for him to go ahead and break it off with you. And unfortunately, if you can't handle that, then don't sleep with him until he's showing more signs of relationship potential or until you are in a committed relationship with him. Realistically, don't expect a true breakup unless he's your boyfriend. Number five is maybe you're just not listening to him. Maybe he tried to make it incredibly clear that this is not going anywhere, but you wanted to go somewhere so badly that you ignored all of those signs and kept just trying to push it forward. Maybe you kept texting him, maybe you kept trying to go out with him as much as you could, maybe you kept trying to lure him in with sex, and then he's sitting there wondering how he's going to get out of this situation, and his only way out is to, unfortunately, Number six is maybe there's an external circumstance that has nothing to do with you whatsoever. If you cannot pinpoint why exactly a guy has totally disappeared on you, then the best thing that you can do is just assume that something else has come up in his life. Maybe he just got back together with an ex. Maybe he just got fired from his job and he's not ready to date anymore. Maybe he's moving, who knows? And don't agonize for weeks over just this one guy. Just assume that something else came up in his life and it just wasn't the right time in his life to be with you. And number seven is that it just straight up wasn't meant to be. I mean, go ahead, heal your wounds, go ahead and vent it out with your friends or with your family, go for a run, and then you know what you gotta do? pick your head up and go back out there. And then moving forward, just realize this. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. The best way to move forward is to continue socializing, to continue dating, continue getting out there, and continue meeting other guys until you are in a committed relationship. This way, if a guy does decide to just peace out on you, you're gonna have other options available to you and it won't be so bad if one of the guys do disappear. But whatever you do, do not give up. And just realize that if a guy does go ahead and disappear on you, it's his loss. Dude, you're telling me she was making clay pots? Damn it. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like on YouTube. That definitely helps me out a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube right here for more videos just like this. And also don't forget to go to sexyconfidence.com and sign up for your free dating training course where I'm going to walk you through exactly how to meet the right types of guys and how to keep them engaged. I look forward to seeing you there and I'll see you very soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.